Hi everybody, this is Doc Mack from the Galloping Ghost Arcade and Galloping Ghost Productions. We're out here at the uh, Midwest Gaming Classic. Uh, we're joined here today with uh, our Mortal Kombat celebrity guest, Philip Bond, who played Chang Soong in MK2. Also by several of our high scorers, Matt Walters. Hi. <laughs> Matt Rocco. What's up, gamers? Fred DeHart. Good morning. Chris Teeter. Hello. And also from uh, the arcade and production staff, Brandon Diaz, Hi. who helps me keep all the arcade machines up and running. So uh, I want to first thank everybody for uh, coming out and uh, supporting us and bringing uh, your gaming talent and celebrity to the show. Um, how, how's everybody been liking the show so far? It's a, it's a lot more crowded than last year. I, I feel like there's a lot more people here. Definitely. But I also feel like the it's more evenly dispersed. Last year, down here, there weren't as many people. There's a lot of people in the main pinball area. But this year, it feels like it's very crowded everywhere in the entire Midwest Gaming Classic, which is a, really a testament to how much the scene has really grown over the last year, I think. And Walt, you were here last year, and Rocco, you were also here last year as well. Yeah, this is my this is my first year. This is oh, Fred, Fred, by the way, and uh, yeah, I'm kind of overwhelmed by the turnout for this. It's it's, it's quite amazing. Every room is just jam packed with people. Yeah, there's a lot of people, but there's also a lot of games. That's true, for sure. So it's hard to be bored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of cool stuff to play, and as much as I was intimidated by the pinball room, now there's a lot of extra room to play. And finally played Mars Pinball. It's actually really awesome. Attack from Mars. There's yeah. Attack from Mars or Mars Attacks. I forget which. Yeah, I never Attack played it though. It's pretty cool. <laughs> this is your your first Midwest Gaming Classic. As long as they have MK2, it's, I'm it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've seen you signing a lot of autographs here today. It's uh, it's fun to uh, relive my glory days. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. And again, we appreciate you coming out. And also, I, whenever you come out to the arcade, there's always a Thank lot you. of people that pleasure. make the trip out just to just to meet you. So. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. Uh, so I, I see a lot of you guys. I know Rocco, you've already been going after scores here, even away from home. You don't let a score stand. <laughs> There's, a, you know, as much as I might shy away from a game, and then I might, you know, I'll eventually pick it up if I get bored. So I picked up Radiant Silver Gun, and that's kind of my my new focus right now. And uh, you actually just took the score from uh, Sunk from our Team GGA Mortal Kombat team, right? I did. I expect Sunk he'll he'll take it back. We kind of been swapping some strategies here and there, and. Um, well, it would be interesting to see how high the score can go, especially if Walters decides to get on it also. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll see about that. I, I'm kinda, I, I, the, the chaining system still intimidates me, but uh, now that you've actually braved that world, maybe I'll actually dip my toe in a little bit and see. So. Fred or Chris, either of you going out? Right, we brought uh, Macross and uh, uh, Magic Sword out. I, I've certainly tried. I, I... I got pretty close on both Macross and uh, uh, Magic Sword. I got to the boss and Macross, could not, could not beat the first loop, and then I'm, I'm still about four levels away in uh, Magic Sword. I mean, it's, it's a grind, you gotta keep doing it. And maybe I'll hit it, but I mean, there's so many other things distracting me. I think that the hit of the day among us has been Bubbles. Yeah, Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles, yeah, yes. Been yeah, ja bubbles. James the Juggernaut James White, White also James around, the uh, around the podcast, so. <laughs> Sorry, I, so this is where everybody is at while I was playing Bubbles. James White, our current gamer of the year. Woo! Holder Thank of you. many world records. Um, and all around great guy. Well, what scores did you set today, James? Um, how, today? Today. Um, I still, um, I just playing just for fun Super, I mean Astro Fighter, not Super, there was a game called Super Astro Fighter, but you probably never heard of it, it was a sequel, but I, I saw on Starcade the game show back in the um, 80s, and uh, made a little closer if I could, so I don't want to be, but uh, not James my, just broke I'm talking like me in here, that's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Broke oh, very nice. Oh, yeah, you it, the it's okay, bubbles. it's okay. That's definitely a great thing about coming to these shows, yeah. is you see games that, uh, oh yeah. You didn't know you wanted. Yeah, and, uh, I definitely haven't been playing for high scores. I've been walking around trying things all day. Yeah, yeah. I've been yeah. playing a lot of pinball. Especially the uh, uh, console rooms down the way, too. Some of the retro ones that I never got to play. Some of the ones that are imports from Japan only. So there's a lot of cool stuff here. <laughs> it's, it's hard to come here with, with uh, money in hand and not leave with <laughs> a bunch of bags of items. Uh, last year, we, we came and... Uh, we ended up leaving with three arcade games and 
Oh, so uh, the uh, Thunder Force AC and uh, Gradius 2 boards. Gradius so 2, yep. These Jungle shows Hunt. can be expensive to do. <laughs> you bought Jungle Hunt here. Yeah, and we bought Jungle Hunt and Warlords and always picking up games at these shows. Which is, you left is, room in the truck, right? Uh, we specifically left room for two games in the truck because I... <laughs> I have come to the realization I do have a game buying problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, we <laughs> we might we might have to. This is actually an intervention, Doc. We plan, <laughs> we've been planning this for months. We're concerned. Yeah. We love you, Doc. Just so you know. We just want you to get better. Yes. That's all we want. Yeah. And that's that's why you have each given me a request to bring other games home. <laughs> get a bubbles. Get a Mars. Attack, uh, from, attack Mars. from Mars pinball. Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking to get better anytime. Book Hunter. <laughs> crazy bowling. A crazy <laughs> bowling. Great pinball game. <laughs> <laughs> so if uh, how how do you think uh, again? Uh, let's go with you, Phil. Your first first time at this show. What have what have you thought of it? I know you're not uh, heavily into the games, but uh, yeah, I have. Unfortunately, not much to compare to. Yeah. Your arcade, and then, believe it or not, my last, and I believe only gaming convention I've been to was E3, and that was like 1995, I believe. That was something like 95. That, so. that was definitely prime MK time, though. Yes, that was, exactly. How was that compared to back then? Was it? Well, autographs couldn't sign them fast enough. That and we also got autographs and took pictures with. I remember Earth, Wind, and Fire, <laughs> Ronnie Lott, oh, Ronnie Lott. La- um, the Lakers uh, cheerleaders, so forth. So next year you have to bring some cheerleaders, Doc. I love the way he got a reaction for everything but the cheerleaders from us. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody said, Ooh, girls, but somebody except the Laker girls. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we have electronic machines here to replace women. Well, definitely as the show grows. Like, it, we've been coming for three or four years now. Uh, I think our might actually be five years. I think we came up as a, just with the, a, a old version of the Dark Presence game long, long ago, and we're showing that before we opened the arcade. And uh, it's definitely growing every year, so you never know who's going to show up here, which is, which is great, which is great. I walked in last night. I was uh, I was here the night before uh, on an unrelated business trip, but I I stayed at the hotel here because it was more convenient to be here the next day. And I walked into this room last night. All the machines were off, and I came in and I was like, oh, I was looking at our type, and and somebody from across the room was like, oh, you're the guy who's going after the R type score. And I'm like, who are you? And it, and it was Strick Man Terry, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who has the score on the R type machine uh, at Gallop and Ghost Arcade. And he knew that there was somebody who was putting up scores in arcade, and he just was like, "You must be that guy." And I had I yeah. had told him that uh, he should be hearing footsteps <laughs> he should be hearing on, footsteps on his score. score. <laughs> As that was, that was an interesting thing. Like he thought that was a pretty safe score that would never be really? contended, and it's uh, it's really no safe scores anymore. It's, but like you guys, constantly are just knocking down world records and. Taking out each other's high scores and our type's an incredibly popular game, though. Yeah, that's, mean, that's, that's strange. That game, game hasn't received a lot more. It action. is incredibly hard, though, oh, and it course. is especially to a lot of new players. It's it can be frustrating just due to the difficulty level. It's definitely not like the starter shmups game that people venture into. She just played it for the first time today, and I can tell you, your past member Rachel Swain did not like the fact that our type was that difficult uh, immediately. It was a very, very, it's a very intimidating game in that respect because it's so difficult so quickly. And and so Rachel being more of a, she she's prefers more of a gyrus. gyrus. She's more of a gyrus player. She's taking pictures <laughs> right now over there. And I think Duke, Duke Dang over there is firmly entrenched in Astro Fighter now, so he's yes. not joining us as well. That's, uh, James, you've always been an Astro Fighter fan, right? You were you had do you currently have the yeah, high score on that? Yeah. The high score, yeah. Twenty four thousand. Who did you take that from? I can't remember. I believe I think it, took it was from John, John Klinkle. Klinkle. It was John Klinkle. He had twenty one thousand. Galaga yeah. champion John Klinkle. Yeah. Oh. And he really thought that score was safe. He did, <laughs> he did. That Astro Fighter score. So, so I don't want to back to uh back to uh that game. Was it R type, I type. Yeah, I saw Walters play the game. 
and he was struggling through like stage four. I had to remember like, not great, my memory's coming back. <laughs> I, I got the fifth boss one time. And, really? And, but that was back in, believe it or not, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. There was like a special arcade there. I don't believe and it. <laughs> I, the fourth boss I got to in, in our time, like I said, that was years ago. It was tough to be yet to have the, whole, the lasers to beat right. him. The lasers, like like that the, what, that that round weapon they use. Oh, right. So, yeah. Not gonna do well. You gotta use lasers. There's certain spots, and it's interesting. When you get to it, watch out. Well, and and I'll say that that <laughs> that game is gonna take me a while to get through. Yeah, wow. but I do now, now that I'm halfway through it. I will go. The do you way. do you think that you'll take that score this weekend? I I don't think I'll take it this weekend, but I will say this. I I'm planning on taking. Are you just being modest again? I'm being modest, but <laughs> I, I've learned my lesson. But I I, uh, I I'm going to say for the record, I'm going to take down that world record, that 521,000. Wow, that's my goal. Is that uh, Triforce yeah, Johnson? That's Jason Wilson. Oh, Jason. Jason oh, yes, Wilson. Yes. And it's a long-standing world record. Yes, that would be an I, excellent I, one. Would really like to finish that game, and I think finishing that game will give me that world record. We'll see. Very nice. We'll and see. you still hope to at this uh, show, if Take we it. can get a monitor in uh, Metal Black. I will. I will try <laughs> to do the Metal Black score that I want to get, which is 520. I have 494 right now. I'm gonna get 520. If Very I get nice. 520, I'll stop playing. So. <laughs> Rocco, any scores you're looking at taking? Uh, you've already got your Radiant Silver Gun, or anything you're looking to accomplish here at the show, score-wise. Uh, nothing else besides Radiant. That's really what I wanted right now. Yeah. So I think one is good for the weekend. <laughs> for, you know, for the sure. one day. <laughs> Especially not on home turf. Yeah. <laughs> Fred? Going all the way through Magic Sword? I mean, I'm not going to kill yeah, myself. Come on. You do it. I'll, I'll try. We'll Don't stream it. I'll try. There's no stools here, though. Is, is there a steaming computer available? Yeah, there is. A <laughs> <laughs> there is, actually. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely give it a shot. I'm, like you know, every, anytime like I'll play like one of those games, I'm always trying to, to do the best I can, you know. But I'm not I'm not gonna sweat if I don't do it today. Unless there's more Red Bull, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a shame that some of the other um, arcade representatives don't have scores on the top of their machines to possibly try to go after other arcades, you know, scores while we're here this weekend. That's true. I Good point. that was really important. Like, we pulled them all off so you wouldn't lose any of them when we brought the arcades here. You yeah. know, like, I was actually going to print out a whole other set just in case. I figured, like, having the scores would be a really big deal. <laughs> For sure. Right. I would have liked to see that, especially over here at uh, Star Star Worlds. Yeah. Star Worlds. Yeah, that's a nice little setup over there, too. The Star Worlds, uh, Duke had actually gone over there and talked to them a little bit. I, I just came from talking to uh, Pat and Glenn, who are the uh, over at Star Worlds out in DeKalb. Um, they've been around forever. Really nice arcade. Um, they're not using arcade. They use a different score right. house. Uh, score grounder? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, got, I got the card for over there, so I have to uh, talk to them a little bit about that. But And that's, uh, it would be great to at least be able to track all these similar data, like TG, Orcade, and right. score ground. So at least to get a comparison of what everybody's doing, even though it's not the same house, at least kind of use the same scores. Yeah. So I have to look into that in the future. So. Yeah, you going for anything in particular while you're here, or are you just playing around? Mostly just playing pinball, pinball? trying things. Very cool, very cool. Brandon, uh, we haven't heard much from you. This is your second show you've been to? Yeah. And how, how are you liking this one so far? Um, it's doing all right. Like, we don't have as much space as we did last time. You know, now we have this podcast booth set up, so it's a lot more congested. You know, like... And we've brought... So at least four or five more cabinets. Yeah, that's true. You know, but like, <laughs> just it's all lined up a little bit different. You know, like at least most of everything works. The only thing that didn't work was metal black, unfortunately. Like when we unloaded it, but and uh, as you can, uh, just the day-to-day -day repair on the machines. We we never really get to talk too much about this on the podcasts about how often stuff goes down at the arcade. And again, you've been such a great help uh keeping everything up and running and it's it's just a lot i like a lot of people call me out for fixing stuff but you definitely are in the time that you've been here have been instrumental in making sure that everything is up and running and that's just want to make sure everybody knows that 
you're a main reason why everything's running so good. So thank, we thank all you, appreciate that you, very much. And Thanks. definitely on the day-to-day -day stuff, people are always asking you to fix stuff. So why don't you, even with moving 24 machines to get here, why don't you give a quick rundown of the incidentals that went down at, at Open today? Um, like... I mean, we had a move. This is just 24 machines. It's too. only 24 just. machines. Like, they were all working at the arcade. You know, we put them into the truck, drove them all the way over here, carried them down some stairs, <laughs> and then... Uh, two flights of stairs. Two flights of stairs, and then brought them into here, started them up this morning. I guess Street Fighter needed a new power supply, Primal Rage, the... Molex connectors shifted in there, so the colors got all wrong. That was very easy to fix. Metal black, the monitor seems to have broken on it. It's not even firing up now. Um, the coin switches <laughs> on elevator action needed to be redone. Uh, Joust was having some sort of coin up issue, but it seems to be working. Like It looks like it's not working, but it's working. Um, Double Dragon 2. Double Dragon 2, yeah, that boards were just all thrown around inside of there. Like, <laughs> things Arcanoid. just happen. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely, like, as much as we love coming to these shows, it's definitely hard on the cabinets. and Definitely. But like, good, even putting good together the Dark Presence cabinet, <laughs> like, that's a whole other story. For sure. How's For sure. your uh, workman's comp uh, back at, What's at Galloping Ghost? How's your uh, workman's comp policy yeah. yet? I will be making a claim myself when I get <laughs> yeah. home. <laughs> almost okay. twice we almost had two cabinets tip over and I crush one of us some, while uh, we were lugging them down the stairs. So. Some bangs and bruises from yesterday carrying the cabinets down the stairs. <laughs> my so arms are pretty sliced up and bleeding from my hand and my legs. Yeah, 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 I feel like I've an entire day at the <laughs> gym the from yesterday. Just carrying cabinets all day. Real splitter. <laughs> I sure have brought my friends that uh, work at. Um, yeah, sorry, Black James. I didn't. I didn't get to you. Are you going after any scores today? Uh, geez, uh, no, take I'll back your Zach Zach score. <laughs> hmm? Pardon? Are you going to take back your Zach Zach <laughs> score while you're here? Brian Kidd. I'm going to No. Are you, you kidding do me? It. Do it. <laughs> New arcade goer Brian Kidda. Uh, has, it took your score not too I long know, ago. I know, it's, I know. I think you should have that one, maybe, James. Maybe. We should steam perhaps, it. Perhaps. Perhaps. <laughs> it's here. Give me one credit, I, James. Just one credit. That's one all credit. I ask for. He'll take it. He'll take a score. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> that dragon boss is a bitch. Probably French. <laughs> <laughs> no, James. Let's James. Keep it simple. Censor that one. <laughs> all, right, sure. all right. All you gotta do is beat the dragon. That's all we gotta ask him for. I know. That's all we but you can never catch the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Um, yeah, before that, I was... No, never mind. Well, one thing I should say, um, I'm very glad that my uh, that Duke is here. He's somewhere, but that's another story. But my yeah, we definitely got to get Duke in here to say hello at some point. And my brother-in-law's here, and uh, as you know, I am going to be an uncle. Yes, so, congratulations yes. on that. Yes, uh, it's heavy. <laughs> And, uh, Philip, I know you've been getting uh, challenged a few times to Mortal yeah, Kombat. Yes, I'm going after the, the <laughs> score <laughs> of... Actually beating someone with my own character, <laughs> <laughs> which I actually did. Ever. Did you? Right. Very nice. Very nice. Were they over 12? <laughs> Does it matter? Yes. It was, I lost winning is winning. Most of the 12-year-olds okay. have been playing MK a lot. Oh, they destroyed me before. And they released been MK on, uh, <laughs> for download. A lot of you never know. Just because they're young, they know how to play. Well, we're good with these old games here. Anything <laughs> mm -hmm. over 20 years old. So are you going to, uh, you've been getting called out to uh, fight people in Mortal Kombat 2 more often. Are you going to uh, start your MK2 training? Uh, I wish I had time. <laughs> but no. I, sorry. <laughs> it's not on top of my priorities. For sure. For sure. And also now we are uh, joined by another one of our year members, Duke Dang. Duke. Thanks. Thanks for coming Greetings, by. everyone. Making the trip out to the show. Definitely. I uh, personally want to thank uh, James' wife for inviting me uh, to come with he and his brother-in-law. I think this is the second time um, you guys have been doing this, and uh, I didn't really know about this uh, last year. I was uh, just became a member, and uh, I think um, 
so I saw that it was Brook, Brookfield, Wisconsin. I didn't know what the event was and then uh, learned a little bit more about it through James. So thanks, man. <laughs> Very cool. Well, we're just definitely glad you came on out. What have, what have you been playing here t this week uh, or today? I've been um, playing. I played a little In the Groove 3 in the Star World. So I'm probably the only one here who will play a dance simulation game, yes. uh, but I haven't played in a while. Um, Philip Bond might have played. You yeah. should have gotten Philip yeah, Bond. That would be cool. dancing game. We need to go do that. Right. That has to happen. Yeah. Let me closer, Tiny Dancer. Yeah, spots. met some people, and I was playing uh, Elevator Action, uh, Magic Sword. Um, a lot of us have been going at it on Astro Fighters. And, Are uh, you looking to take the score on Astro Fighters? No, <laughs> not, <laughs> not really consistent. It was like playing two-player games and... I couldn't even beat the first stage. It was ridiculous. And then uh, and before before the night's out, I I, I got to hit a pinball because very cool. Really into pinball. And definitely a lot awesome. of pinball machines here. Yeah. So definitely uh, great so, to see some of the other games that we don't have right. at the Gallup and Ghost Arcade. Mm -hmm. Now we're actually also joined by Rachel Swain, one of the other year members at the Gallup and Ghost Arcade. Hello. How's it going? Good. Have you? Have oh you been God, playing any gyrus today? <laughs> I have, I have, uh, I have played some gyrus today. <laughs> it's been a really long time since I've oh, been able to devote any sure. time to that game. So. How's your score? Well, I just said it's been a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good. What, what else do you play? Uh, I was playing R Type for a little while, and um, new favorite. Arkanoid. Is R Type your new favorite game? <laughs> That's pretty fun, but it's really infuriating. <laughs> It's really, it's really infuriating. That's how I feel towards uh, Astro Fighters. <laughs> yeah, Astro Fighters is similar. It's just, it gets hard right away. <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> cool. Well, again, I hope everybody's been having a really good time. Uh, awesome. We're uh, probably going to wrap it up here. Uh, unless anybody has anything else that they want to go over and discuss. You're getting or? a monkey ball, right? Super monkey ball. Excuse it's me. just monkey ball. Oh, <laughs> it is. It is not. Super monkey you ball will enjoy it as if it were super monkey ball. Does it have the banana joystick? It does have the banana joystick. It is the one that is upstairs. The last time I saw that upstairs. game was uh, <laughs> the ticker Thank you. That is oh, yeah. like uh, <laughs> great Chuck action e. on that game. The banana is fantastic. <laughs> Handles like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll definitely that, that will actually be our 380th game Woo! on nice. the arcade floor. Nice. So. All right. It's again uh, still uh, reveling in the fact that uh, we are the largest arcade in the video arcade in the U.S. So to keep that going. For what sure. What is the other one that we're bringing Congratulations, home? Congratulations, Doc. What's that? What is the other cons or what is the other? Uh, the closest is uh, Fun Spot, who on Orcade has a. In the next game. What's the next game coming home? home? Next game coming home? The other one you said. Uh, that. Uh, it's a mystery. Mystery or? game. Oh, it, that no. actually might not be for us, but uh, I did uh, solidify a deal where we will be picking up a Darius, a Darius cabinet, which nice. has been one of my You've holy on grail for cabinets while, right? <laughs> for a long time. It's uh, sim very similar to the Ninja Warriors cabinet, where it's three 13-inch monitors, monitors. Oh, monster-sized cabinet, and a very difficult one to work on. We had just picked up the board, and uh, the guy who sold me the board was here at the show, yeah. and uh, he said if we wanted the cabinet, he has two of them. So. Wow. Put it right next to Buck Hunter. It's, uh, what, what's that? I said put it right next to Buck Hunter. No, man, Toki. Toki. T-O-K-I. I've been looking for that. That is on my list. I have not you, seen that since I was a, a little kid growing up in, in, in Salt Lake City, Utah. In your suburbs. request for that has put it on my list. Okay. So awesome. <laughs> hopefully we'll have that Bubbles. soon. Bubbles. <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> Screw Bubbles. Hey, no, no. Bubbles is a fun game. How can you be angry at Bubbles, dude? <laughs> yeah. Explain that. <laughs> they clean your sink. I, I help yeah, you guys. eco-friendly. Come on. I, yeah. I, I help you guys learn the, the oh, yeah, totally. words Bubbles. I mean, it's just <laughs> simple. I was nothing bubbles about Bubbles. I only go in a dream. Duke is a I was <laughs> unaware of uh, the uh, enjoyment that you guys had for Bubbles. I've actually been turning down a Bubbles cabinet been sitting there from a, a private seller who calls me up every two or three months going, do you want to buy Bubbles? And I'm always like, I don't know. I don't know if this is the Bubbles crowd here. But <laughs> you, you can play it at Logan Hardware in Chicago. Any yeah, game with Hardware razor blades in the sink is good play. for me. <laughs> <laughs> and a little you guys always manage to out. surprise me with I, your, your I can't points. believe you've been holding on to us. How, how, many, how long has this been I, going on? Nobody has asked for yeah. Bubbles. 
What else have you been not telling us? No, forget forget <laughs> bubbles. bubbles. <laughs> You're best off with Trog, four player awesome player game. Also, because I don't like of Trog. you on my list of games I am looking for. So <laughs> definitely pays to uh, request titles. I didn't know you guys wanted bubbles, otherwise it would already be there. I didn't want bubbles. <laughs> Maybe because we wanted bubbles until now. <laughs> Nobody so we knew. talked well, about for the last three play. years. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. So again, we we all appreciate you making the trip out here, and uh, definitely hope that uh, you all come back for the next one. And uh, we've been I hope they picked again. We here this time we have our 24 arcade cabinets. Uh, we've got Brandon from from the staff, uh, Jeremiah and Will from the production end, and. Duke, Matt Rocco, Fred DeHart, Yo. Chris Teeter, Take James White, Rachel Swain, Matt Walters, and Pete Hahn. P- and Pete Hahn. Yeah, Pete Hahn is also here. Yeah. I wish my brother in A lot of black shirts here today. Sunk and uh, Jeremiah, well, you have Yeah, Sunk is, is also here. They're yeah. actually streaming uh, live Mortal Kombat steaming. right now, so they're busy <laughs> defending the team's honor. I think they'll be steaming. I've seen Scott Lambert here was earlier. Scott Lambert from the Underground Retrocade yeah. had made a yeah, stop here. out earlier. We Hans appreciate it. Hans was here. Hans was here. Yeah. That, uh, was the kid Josh Henderson was here, right? Uh, Josh's father was here. Josh Henderson's father. He was uh, the kid was here. Does he still have a head? Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, we always greatly appreciate uh, all the support that we get from all of our regulars here, and I apologize in advance and if I've missed anybody. Uh, also, Philip on. Thanks to him for making the trip out, and uh, definitely, uh, awesome. are you guys anxious to get back to the arcade and play your normal games, or uh, you're still yes. enjoying all the pin? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just just to mingle. But this is Duke Daniels closing out. Just want to speak for everybody, saying thank you so much, Doc Doc Mac, for all you've done, oh, thank creating you, this awesome um, community, and uh, just just so much you, you you do in the time that you have, you know, fixing games putting up scores on Orcade and just making time for gaming for yourself and all this stuff. I'm really impressed and in awe with Thank you. With, with, Thank with, you. With, I appreciate with, that you a do, lot. You and Jerry and the staff. Thank you. Yeah, Brandon, being here Brandon makes you miss the rock. All the great titles we have back at the arcade. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> said being here makes us miss all the great titles we have at the arcade. <laughs> I.e. Flicky. There are tons of great new ones here. I, I don't know how play, I could possibly live with 24 games. I mean, yeah. it's, just, it's just, what is it? One, one fifteenth of the titles I'm used to having at my disposal. I mean, I just keep walking around in a circle. Where's all the games? <laughs> Where's all the games, Doc? Hey, to- what's up with Metal Black? Some of us were wondering. Is it, yeah, is it that up and running? received uh, had a monitor issue. Oh. Although Walters was playing it last night. And it's it. You yeah. burned it up, Walters. <laughs> Apparently, I, I was intentional. It was the death knell. Some shooting <laughs> going on inside That's the back of it. Well, you know how I, you know how I get when I get really angry. <laughs> you start shaking the cabinet. Turn Pretty green. Not pinball. Yeah, a bottle of coke is not going to fall out. Start shaking of machines. Okay, I'll just play some pinball now. <laughs> Peace out, everyone. Thanks. And also, I do want to uh, say thanks to uh, Jerry Cantu, my business partner at the Galloping Ghost Arcade, and thanks, Jerry. Don Cox and. Uh, Phil Pops Diaz, who are manning the uh, Galloping Ghost Arcade back in Brookfield, Illinois, uh, on this, I'm sure, very busy Saturday. Get back Saturday. to work, Don. Uh, <laughs> so thanks to them. Uh, shout out to Chris DeLutri. Uh, we wish he was here with us again. Um, hopefully he'll be here next year. But uh, hopefully. Any, awesome. anybody else want to... Uh, Nothing else before cool. sign off. We'll, we'll see you at the ghost, guys. For sure. <laughs> well, yeah, and hope everybody not. stops out to the Galloping Ghost Arcade out in. So no. uh, James, do you have. Well, I wish I stopped at the arcade, but uh, my brother in law's uh, my ticket to ride, and uh, uh, maybe tomorrow I'm just having a great time here. And personally, I, like I don't know if you said this, I gotta give a shout out to Walters, who uh, broke a thousand tokens. The second yes. person to broke a thousand Congratulations tokens. Congratulations to Matt Walters. Walters for that. first. I couldn't and, uh, have done it without you, James. Thank you. Yes, you still have almost 500 tokens to catch up with me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Is that a challenge? Oh, oh, boy. Is that... Do you... <laughs> I like that. So that's what you really feel, James. Well, we'll have to settle this back at the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> James, who's who's going to the arcade tomorrow? Oh... I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just having a fun time. <laughs> this is my second time here. I, I, I'll be there Monday. This is my second Monday? podcast. Monday. Just day like, yeah. Very cool. Well, we actually, as soon as we get back, we have events going on on Sunday. We have some yeah. special guests 
Uh, James Espy from uh, Logan's Hardware will be there, and uh, Mark, who is in uh, King of Kong, will be there too. So play some Crystal Castles and other fun stuff there. But again, thank you all for coming out. Again, this thank is uh, Doc Mack for uh, Galloping Ghost Productions and the Galloping Ghost Arcade. Uh, thanks a lot. Hope to see you at the arcade.